Tiger Lily Squad. <laughs> What's poppin'? 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 Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's hey? <sighs> We still in quarantine, sis. We are still in quarantine, sis. If you enjoy, what the heck is that hanging on? Oh, nah. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to, well, you ain't know the video yet. What am I talking about? Before we get anything started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe subscribe turn on all your post notification bells follow me on all social media platforms at essence of shay you can go on my website as well www.essenceofshay.com subscribe to my newsletter sis i'll be dropping gems on that blog i'll be getting deep it's not just about locks it'd be like deep deep stuff um, today's video, as the title says, is about to be deep, but goofy at the same time. Y'all know me. Um, how y'all quarantine going? Like, for real, sis, how's it going? Because, mm, it's, I mean, I mean, it's a, a, it's a blessing, um, in whatever context you see it as. Bro, that's two months, bro. Anyways, um, let's just get right into the video. As you guys know, Essence of Shay is single. I know, like, what? Um, so I started uh, using these dating apps. So, um, and a lot of people, like, they don't talk about it because apparently dating apps are taboo, sis. I know that. Um, and people are embarrassed about it because it's like, if you can't find yourself a man outside, sis, why, like, you must be desperate, hun. You're desperate. Since I'm not desperate, I just don't go nowhere. So in order to find someone, you know? So especially, um, well, in this time, is a little wonky because I don't think you really about to meet somebody in this time because people are just bored. So hookups, bada bing, bada boom. Um, but... I was on this app called Hinge, right? And um, I found out from one of my coworkers, he's white, and he was just like, yo, I be meeting all these shorties, like that's how he talks, like I be meeting all these shorties and da da da. We, we gonna leave him be, let him be great. And so I was thinking, okay, cool, because I've been on Tinder, I've been on, um, uh black um blk or whatever and i've been on bumble and i've met a few people but a few other people are just weird so i said i was over the dating app situation so i said let me try um hinge so i go on hinge right and they give you like these preferences right and like like the height and the age and like the distance and all this stuff mind you we're not sponsored by hinge we just want to talk so i'm going through hinge and i'm going through hinge and i meet a few people and you like their pic and then they send you messages you guys know how it goes it goes down in the dms that's how basically apps are so we're talking a few people are talking back and forth with and like there are three that like I connect with right one asking for my number because I took forever to respond to this thing sis like I didn't put on notifications or anything so sometimes I would take a whole day and a half to respond which I felt bad but I really wasn't thinking about hinge on the top of the brain text this dude and then he just is all weird like during the tech like he spoke more in the app than he did the text and mind you i would text him in the app and he would respond faster than he would on his text messaging and i'm like broski lala what you what sis what anyways so um me and him are still cool i barely talk to him anymore but we're still cool like we ain't fall out um and I, so we still follow each other on social media. 
And then there's this one other guy, we'll, we'll name him Edward. So I went back and forth with Edward for about three weeks, two to three weeks. And this was before um, quarantine started, actually two weeks before quarantine started. And he always would try to link up and like hang out, but I just was so weirded out by it. Like I would make any excuse in the book, sis. Like any excuse. And I felt bad because I'm just like, uh, somebody's trying to hang out with you, Shay, and you just are not giving them the time of day. That's not right. So the day of quarantine, right? We were, we were cool this entire time. And he was like, so um, you should, if do you want to hang out? And I'm like, but hang out where? There's really no place to hang out at this point. He was like, this is why I was trying to see you before quarantine uh, got into place. Um, but do you want to come over to my friend's house? So, um, you could bring a friend over as well if that makes you feel uncomfortable. And he was like, he, he spit game, says, hear me out. He was like, well, you know, people make it seem so taboo to go to a stranger's house when you're first meeting them. Culture has brainwashed us. In my head, I'm just like, bro, if you don't shut up, I can come by somebody's house if I got there and want to. What you talking about, Willis? I mean, when you first meet somebody, you really want to because you don't know them like that. But in this type of situation, it's just like, okay, um, quarantine was not in place yet. But they were like, at 11.59, everybody just need to go in their house. I said, let me meet this dude before um, I just sit in my house and I am not going to leave once I, you know what I'm saying? I am not going to leave. So um, I met up with him. I went to his friend's house. His friend is super nice, had me dying laughing the entire time. Um, they gave me something to eat. They offered me something to drink, but I was like, in my head, I'm like, nah, because I don't really know you. You could pour something in my drink. That I, don't, I don't know. So you know what I'm saying? I didn't do that. Um, and everything was cool. We had a good conversation. We talked about cultural differences because he's African and, you know, I'm Car American Caribbean and, like, raised by a single black woman from Jamaica. So... I feel like women can do anything. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff. And he's cultural background where, like, men are the head of the household. Women are the helper and all this stuff. And we just went into a nice cultural debate. It wasn't nothing crazy. It was a good conversation. He also was telling me his job. Also, was letting me know he's in real estate. Like, he has real estate. He, like, has an Airbnb. And like he showed me pictures of the Airbnb and he was like always oh, right down the block and da da da. I and in my head I'm just like, yo, boy, your Airbnb is trash. Like the design layout, honey. <laughs> I was just like, no. If I saw that at Airbnb, I would not book with them. But tomato tomato. Um, and I was like, if we ever get any cooler, maybe I can help you design, da da da. And he was like, do you want to see it? And in my head, I'm like, cool. Something should have popped in my head. Like, girl, what you doing? You just met this dude. Are you dumb? But I felt comfortable. I felt angels with me. God was with me. Usually if I feel uncomfortable about something, I get a knot in, the, in my stomach or something. But I felt good. So we go to the Airbnb. And he's showing me around the Airbnb. And I'm just like, oh, it really, yeah, this, yeah. You know, Ikea, mm, you guys know I love me some Ikea. Ikea, holla. Um, and they, they, I just was like, Ikea is a gem. You could get everything in Ikea for a reasonable price. Fix this thing up. You could tell nobody lived there. So, um, which usually is how some Airbnbs are because people don't actually live there. They just rent it out they, or they buy it and they rent it out for people for Airbnb purposes, but they got their own place. So none of their stuff would be there. So we're just sitting and we sat on the couch and I was like, oh, this is super nice. Like I was really iffy. That's why it took me so long to like 
come and meet you because you know some people are just weird and then when i had texted when we exchanged numbers he didn't want to send me he didn't want to send me his picture so i was like that's kind of weird um but then we were just sitting there vibing out we cooling no kissing no nothing all i heard was bang 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 So at this time, I had to get up and use the bathroom. And I was on my way to the bathroom. And he just sitting there and I'm just like, maybe it's the post office, but why are they banging like they cops? I don't know. Questions that need answers. So I'm in the bathroom and then I hear again, bang, bang, bang. And I'm just like, are you gonna answer that? And I said it loud in the bathroom. All I heard was he opened the door and all I heard was, why the, you here? Why you here? You said you was gonna be by your friend house studying your technology stuff. Why you here? And I'm just like, ah, oh, come on. <laughs> you know, like, come on. Are you serious right now? You only see these things in reality shows. So I'm sitting on the toilet, looking around like. So um, when we first entered the apartment, like the door, in a Caribbean household, usually you take your shoes off at the door. You don't walk into someone's house um, with your shoes on. So I had taken my shoes off by the door. And... Um, when I came out the bathroom, my shoes were no longer there. So I'm like, yo, did Shorty take my shoes? Like, <laughs> what's happening here? You know what I'm saying? So um, I just hear them in the front just arguing. She's like, you said you was gonna be home at certain, like, why are you over here? Who's in there? And they fight and fight like you could just hear boom, boom, boom. And it's the door, like, I guess she's trying to come inside right and he's not allowing her to come inside which further let me know what the situation was finally they're going back and forth and he flips the script on her i'm just sitting there on the couch just i'm just so fascinated by this conversation and and mind you i'm calm this entire time because this ain't got nothing to do with me you know what i'm saying so i'm just sitting there and um he goes if you say I'm supposed to be doing something and you're supposed to be at work, why are you here? And I was just like, he's good. <laughs> I'm just like, got him. Like, he been doing this for a while. Like, he, he need to teach me some things because, sis, he just flipped the whole script. And she just turned around like, I know I'm supposed to be at work, but I knew, I felt something was going on. Da, 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 da. And I'm just like, yo, I just want my shoes. Cause now my stomach's starting to grow. I'm, I'm hungry again. I just want to go. Like, I just want to go. And I wanted, honestly, I just wanted to make sure they calmed down. Because had I walked outside and anybody placed hands on me, it'd have been some smoke in the city, says. Some smoke. So <laughs> I said, I'm going to just wait till they calm down. Maybe he'll walk her to her car or something like that. I have no idea. But had I been her and I saw a woman's shoe, I wouldn't have let go. I mean, I'm not going to fight you, but I wouldn't let go till I came inside. And so... I walked, I got up and I walked to the kitchen to see if he had like water or something in the fridge and the door swung open. And I was like, oh, a whole sign from God. Like, Shay, this is your time to go. You can, you can leave now. So as I'm walking out the door, I'm calm as a cucumber, sis. I walked out the door. I see my shoes, my nice Chelsea boot. Well, they're not nice no more. They old. My J. Crew, sis, they just was lying around aimlessly on the floor. Like, sis, like, why would you disrespect my shoes like that? Like, nah, I'm mad. I'm joking. I wasn't mad. So I grab my shoes. On the ground, he has her, like, and these are, like, concrete stairs. He's, like, on the third floor. My man has her pinned down on the ground. Pull, and she had like long braids pulling at her hair while he's pin, like he's pinning her down pulling at her hair and I in my head I'm just like wow 
I would have never thought just off of this one conversation that we had, I would have never thought that you were that type of guy. Like, I, I just, so I put my shoes on. She looks up at me. She said, you really have somebody up in here? And in my head, I'm like, uh, duh, sis, that's why you mad. Cause you, you knew he had somebody in here. You saw my shoes. We really, we, put, we really acting surprised now. Are we serious? Like, what? So <laughs> I act, I looked at her and I said, um, are you good? Because he had her, the woman in me, yo, he had her like pinned on the ground, fam. Like she was pinned on the ground. And I felt bad, like seeing a fellow black sis on the, like, it was just too much. So as I put on my shoes, she was like, yeah, I'm good. And she walk in. She's like, I hope you like this type of man because he likes to put his hand on his woman. He always put his hand on his woman. I'm like, <laughs> mind you, neighbors had already came outside and was like, y'all need to calm down. She cussing the white man out, telling him he need to mind his business. Black folks, yo. I love us for real. And, um... I'm walking down the stairs. She said, I hope y'all didn't have sex. I said, we sure did not. <laughs> we did not. She's like, you you a smart one. Because all the other ones, I'm pretty sure they did. But you a smart one. And I was like, I was just shaking my head. My mans, he ain't look at me once. Homeboy got up and walked into the apartment. As I'm walking to my car... I'm looking for my wallet. I can't find my. I said, I hope I didn't leave my wallet up in there because I really do not want to go back upstairs. I just, I don't want no parts of this anymore. And I come out of the car. I'm looking, looking, looking. I find my wallet. I come, I go back in the driver's seat. And Shorty is still standing in front of the apartment with her hands like this in front of the door. And he's just not letting her in. Like, you can see him in the bedroom. My man's is on the phone. He not paying her no attention. Like, he done beat, like, put his hands on you. He threw you out of the apartment. He locked the door. Like, why are you still there? Like, I'm so confused. Like, I don't understand. Like, uh, I can't judge nobody. And I'm not doing this, but my thing is like all those things that happen in the course of that, why are you still standing there? That would that would be my thing. Like, why are you still standing there? I don't you already got your proof. The girl walked out the apartment, the girl happened to meet me, essence of shape. And she walks out the apartment. You clearly could tell she don't even know what the hell is going on. He goes back into the apartment. He locks the door. He leaves you out there. So as I'm driving off, two cops are driving in. And I'm like, yep, yeah, white folks. Yep, yeah, you making noise in, in front of their place. Uh, yeah, they about to call cops on you. And in my head, I'm like, dang, bro. Like, he's an a-hole, but I really don't want to see him arrested. That's crazy. So I'm driving off and um I just I just go home and I'm just like this is bananas. Like I never expected to be in any situation like this. Like blow mine. I just was like y'all are bugging. Like y'all yeah Men, female, whoever, y'all know y'all in relationships. Why y'all on dating apps? Dating apps. Dallas ain't that big. Everybody know every, like, re really? That just turned me off on dating apps, sis. Like, I don't, mm, mm. I know a lot of people said they have found their, like, forever in a day. I don't know, sis. That was crazy. The end of the story is homeboy calls me and he asks me if I'm okay and that he's sorry. And I was like, are you okay? <laughs> like, cause cops was there, are you good? And he was like, yeah, I'm good. I said, but what was all that about? He brushes off what I said. He said, I just want to call to say, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll just talk to you later. In my head, I'm just like, you really thought you was about to talk to me later? 
The only reason why I picked up, because I just want to make sure you weren't arrested. Maybe you should have been. But, yeah, that is my... <laughs> That is my story time on the dating apps, sis. Like, I was just like, are y'all serious? Mm. <laughs> if you guys had any weird stories from dating apps, let me know in the comment box below because don't have your sis out here just spilling all the tea. Humble and personal with you. And you not telling me nothing. Don't do that. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like a comment and subscribe turn on all your post notification bells and i will see you in the next video see you later tiger lilies see you later tiger lilies i didn't do that in so long see you later tiger lilies uh, crash course let me have the money in the dashboard Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the curve, then asking me for intercourse.